rewards with these helpful apps and websites like how to get a better flight with fewer points in TechSmart. Monday at 5 a.m. Good morning, I'm Eric Spielman. What happens if Putin resorts to chemical warfare in Ukraine? President Biden has asked that question. His response coming up. Good morning, I'm Lynette Romero and Carson. I just uh, got some new information from the Long Beach Police Department about this crime spree. It involved more than just multiple shootings. It also involved two carjackings, a hostage situation, a kidnapping. It all ended here in Carson. Coming up, I'll have a live report. Good morning, I'm Frank Buckley, Major League Baseball. Coming back after a 99-day lockout, we'll tell you when that's going to happen, when the Dodgers and the Angels will take the field this upcoming season. Good Friday morning, I'm Jessica Holmes. A man with no boating experience takes off in a stolen yacht, causing some damage off the coast of Orange County. More on this just ahead. Good morning, I'm Sam Rubin. We're here at the Fairmont Century Plaza. We're inside the big ballroom and let the rigging begin. They're getting ready for the Critics' Choice Awards and it's a lot of setup involved. We'll take you through the preparations and more as we continue our pre-live from Century City. And the weather's going to be beautiful for the red carpet. Uh, temperatures in the uh, low upper 60s, low 70s, as people are making their way down the red carpet. No rain whatsoever, maybe a little bit of cloud, but it's going to be a nice day. Today's forecast, 70 coastal, downtown Los Angeles, 72, San Fernando Valley, 76, 66 in the high desert, Inland Empire, 73, Orange County, Inland, 76 degrees. Frank, back to you. Some breaking news this morning. President Biden calling for the end of normal trade relations with Russia. He made the announcement this morning. He also spoke with the Ukrainian president, Vladimir Zelensky, to get an update on the crisis in Ukraine. KTLA's Eric Spillman in the newsroom to update all of us. Eric, good morning. Morning, Frank. President Biden called on Congress to ban Russian vodka, diamonds, and seafood. He says the U.S., the European Union, and the G7 countries should take steps to downgrade Russia's trade status. And after he made that announcement, a reporter asked him what happens if Putin resorts to chemical warfare. President Biden, your, your White House has said that that Russia may use chemical weapons or create a false flag operation to use them. What evidence have you seen showing that? And would the U.S. have a military response if Putin does launch a chemical weapons attack? I'm not going to speak about the intelligence, but, but uh, Russia would pay a severe price.